What is up console superstars and how are you all doing? I am hoping you guys are all having, if not going to have, an amazing day and night. We are at Curl. Oh my god. How did I miss say that word? We are at Curl's. Oh, I guess I'm having a speech impediment right now and saying that one word. We are at Coors Field. There we go. I finally got it. And uh, you guys know what happens at Coors Field. A lot of home runs because of the extremely high altitude. He is two away from getting to Babe Ruth. And right there, he gets a fastball that he lifts completely. And uh, the left fielder is right there to make that out. So pretty close to the warning track, but not close enough to be a home run. So we went one, two, three that inning. Bottom of the second, Jose Reyes is still on the Colorado Rockies. He is not on the Mets. He is most likely going to bunt considering the defense we currently have up. And uh, that is a little unlikely in my opinion that he would actually decide to bunt even though he sees the third baseman right there down the line. But hey, what can we do about it? So we got the last out of the inning. We are coming to hit once again. We have runners on first and second. So we definitely have the opportunity to put on some runs for the Yankees. And that is honestly all we're thinking about. We get a line drive or we hit a line drive to left field. A pretty hard hit line drive. But the left fielder was standing right there and he makes the grab. It was just hit extremely well. It was right where A-Rod would have asked, it, asked the ball to be. And unfortunately, he just wasn't able to lift it up high enough to be able to hit a dinger. He hits or swings at a fastball low, and the umpire said he could not hold back, so he gets the first strike. He gets a four-seamer, but as you guys could have seen, the zone was just a little bit too low, so we pop up behind home plate as the catcher gets the ball. We need to do better. We need to actually get some hits. We need to get a hitting streak once again. And right now, the Colorado Rockies are actually winning 1-0 to zero in the bottom of the 7th. So the Yankees are about to go on a two-game losing streak. And I do not know actually what happened right there as A-Rod completely missed the ball. Even though it was going straight to him, he went to the side. So that was actually pretty weird. The Rockies are now winning 1-2. to two, And A-Rod needs to make up for that little error he had right there. This pitcher throws two fastballs, so Alex can definitely... Just wait on some hard stuff and just get ready to drive it right there. We get a good swing on a cutter that was inside the strike zone. And all we're trying to do is get a base hit. Honestly, we do not even care about dingers. And right there, we got pretty curious on whether or not we could have hit that fastball. But luckily for us, we actually held up our swing. It's a 2-1 two count, two count now. So it is a hitter's count. We can most likely expect something near the plate that we can drive and hopefully drive this runner in and tie the game the pitch comes it's definitely a fastball near the strike zone that we could have absolutely drived and we managed to pop it up to the shortstop so right now a-rot seems to be going on a cold streak as he had been on before and with this the game ends so not a game of too many runs but i'm pretty sure that will soon switch up as we head on to game number two of this series so now time for game number two. A-Rod is now 2 for 18 in the last four games, so he definitely needs to step it up. And I think today, on a rainy day, it's going to be a sunny day for Alex Rodriguez, if that made any sense at all. And the first pitch he gets, he hits a ground ball sharply to Jose Reyes. But the previous gold glove at the shortstop position is right there to make the out. And A-Rod is going out there for his second at bat. Now the Yankees are winning 2-1. to one. We have a runner on second base and an opportunity to actually drive him in. And we hit another sharply hit ground ball to Jose Reyes. So right now Alex Rodriguez is not getting the job done. He needs to basically break out of this mojo. He actually hit a two-seam fastball. We just need to focus and try to drive the ball somewhere in the field we cannot pick a certain spot because we do not want to swing too early or too late we just need to have a good swing and just drive the ball and we finally get a base hit in between the third baseman and shortstop for a single and now we have runners on first and second and he has finally broken out of the slump he was in previously so that is very good for A-Rod and hopefully he gets hot as he has been most of this season Mark Teixeira now has a 1-2 count runner on first and second two outs and he hits a line drive or a little pop-up 
to the outfield and he misses the ball he makes a diving grab but he is unable to actually finish the play we could have probably went home and tried to score but the pitcher is right there to back it up and i'm almost positive it would have actually been a very close play with a rod so carlos botron is now hitting a player that i have my full trust on because he just seems to get the job done whenever it is needed and he can give us some insurance runs but he takes the walk there as he gets a pitch pretty close to his pinstripes i'm pretty sure that he was not digging that pitch at all and now brian mccann is up on one count two outs three one is the score base is loaded brian mccann hits a ground ball but the second baseman is there to make the play and that is the third out of the inning so base is loaded and we could not get anything done with it a-Rod today is one for three, so he is finally getting some base hits. And right now, all we're trying to do is find a pitch to drive. And there is a four-seamer that just catches the outside corner of the strike zone. So it is an 0-1 count for Alex Rodriguez. The second pitch of the at-bat comes. It's another four-seam fastball, a little bit high this time. And we were just very late. I guess we were expecting some off-speed pitches. And once again, I must repeat, you cannot expect. You can only go out there looking to swing the bat. And that is not what we have been doing as he takes a change up there and he was very early on it. The second pitch or actually fourth pitch of the at bat is a curveball that just misses the strike zone by a humongous margin. And it's a 1-2 count. I guess he is trying to get A-Rod to chase. The pitch comes and it's another curveball that is just two outside. Maybe he is just going to throw three outside pitches trying to get A-Rod to chase. And A-Rod won't chase at all. The fourth pitch of the at-bat comes and it's a fastball. But A-Rod brings the zone a little bit too low to actually be able to drive it. And he hits a fly out to the left fielder. And hopefully the Yankees win right here. Carlos Gonzalez is now hitting in the bottom of the eighth. And A-Rod has the opportunity to actually gun him out at first base as they play a defensive shift. He is actually going to bunt to the right-hand side, and he hits that bunt extremely hard, actually. And A-Rod still tries to get the ball, but he is unable to gun Carlos Gonzalez out. And he is getting one more at-bat, actually, in the top of the ninth. So hopefully A-Rod can do something productive in this at-bat. The pitch comes, it's a high fastball, and he hits it down the line, but Nolan Arenado is there, and he makes the easy play at first, and that is the third out of this inning, so A-Rod has gone a bit cold, but the game is over, and Mark Teixeira actually got player of the game, so if you like the gameplay and commentary, make sure you guys thumbs up the video, if you have not subscribed to the console superstars already, make sure you do by hitting that subscribe button, and as always guys, have a great day and night. Stay positive, keep grinding, keep smiling, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, console superstars.